The year is unknown. It's probably like 6969. Nice. Humanity as we know it has been destroyed by architects. Yes, despite my warnings, buildings like this and this sadly became the standard. The earth couldn't take it anymore and so bravely destroyed itself. All that remains are the floating fragments of the earth, which we must engineer to explore the land and seek out the remaining mushroom looking architects which we will destroy. And whilst things sound positive, there is a storm brewing. Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Aloft, which you may remember I did a couple of videos on the demo late last year. Oh, that was unusual. Absolutely loved it. One of my favorite games of the year, actually. Um, and they've just released a huge, huge update to the demo, which you can check out by clicking the link in my description. And by the way, this video is sponsored by the devs. So thank you so much to Astrolabe Interactive for sponsoring this video. But uh, let's get into it and see what has been updated. Oh, look, my last, my last world is there. A whole new world. <laughs> Yeah, but let's start a new map and we will call it Stop Singing, You Idiot. So we start in a cave. Now we can run. Oh, look at our hands. We have hands now. But uh, as we head out the cave, we will see <gasps> the earth was destroyed. The intro was right. So yeah, basically we're we're set on like floating islands everywhere. Um, and we have, to, we have to find these rocks where we can learn some skills. So I've just learned a workbench, which means I can build a workbench, but I need five bits of wood. So if you have played any video game ever or have any sort of common sense, you'll know wood comes from trees and we can come over to a trees and you see, look, there's, there's a branch we can snap off because it's dead. Now, we've also got these like little shrubby things. So if we grab them, they give us leaves, which are going to be another resource we can use. Anyway, we'll pull a load of branches off and then we can finally build our workbench. And then can you see this has an orange blob? That means it's an ingredient which we can shove together down here. So if we shove a leaf there and another leaf there, and another leaf there, we get a recipe. So we click learn, and what have we discovered? Long leaf cloth. All right, so now probably worth doing some exploring of this island. So we'll head up here, obviously ripping branches off trees as we go. Well, look, we found some rocks, so we'll pick those up. So back of the workbench, you can see the wood and the rock now have blobs on them, which means we can combine them somehow to make a new recipe, which is a stone hammer. Nice. So let's combine those together. So two of them make a sharp stone. So if we add wood and then a sharp stone, I wonder what this is going to get us. It's a stone axe. And then if we add a rock as well, a stone pickaxe. Now I have a hammer. We've unlocked all these different things. Uh, so it might be worth building like a, a small little hut. So we're going to want a door frame. Gonna want some walls. We're gonna want some roof. And we have a wooden house, grass roof and everything. All right, but I need to do some more exploring on this island and some more pillaging because remember now we have an ax, which means I can chop these trees down to get more wood. And not only that, the trees literally fall down and sadly off the map. So I don't get the logs. Give me that log. Give me, give me your logs. Nothing like a bit of deforestation first thing in the morning. If we head up here, you'll see there's another thing to learn. So let's see what it gives us. A sawmill. All right, so first off, I'm going to go... Uh... All right, so first off, let's get back to our hut. Let's build that sawmill. So we'll shove that there. And then we can use the sawmill so we can add some of those. If we get a few of these timed up well, we're turning logs into planks. All right, so now we've got 15 planks. So head back to the workbench. We have a new recipe, which is the longleaf glider. Oh, yes. And then if we equip that by pressing E, we can now leave this place. Um, and what? Oh, my God. Why am I bald? Where's my hard hat? I thought I was an engineer. Anyway, yes, we can fly about the island. We can boost as well so we can get a little bit higher, a little bit easier. Now we can explore our island and see that we have indeed explored all of those magical stones. So I guess let's head to another island. Yeah, and we got two here. We've got the one on the left, which is sort of normal looking. And then this one, which, well, as you can see, it's covered in fungi uh, because this is where the architects live now. So let's land on this island. And uh, yeah, we can see we are confused. We're like, what is that? What oh, is that? Yeah. It seems the architects learned something after their demise. They learned the power of the strongest shape and perhaps they're trying to come back. And oh no, there is an architect. Right, let's get, what should we hit him with? Maybe an axe. Boosh, eat some of that, you knob. Boosh, boosh. Right, one architect down. Let's try and destroy this thing. Oh, the <laughs> I don't know if you remember my last video, but there wasn't sound effects in the demo yet. Now there is, and they sound pretty horrible, actually. 
<laughs> yeah, right. So now we have unlocked this egg thing. So we keep whacking that. There's another architect. Get back. Um, and inside, a fruit. A forbidden fruit. So let's give it a whack. And look, we have cleansed the island. No more architecture here. I and mean, of course, there's resources like stones and trees to chop down. So boosh, boosh. Oh, look at that. Hey, what are you doing here? Get down, mushroom man. See you later, mate. <laughs> Anyway, I think that is the final tree. So we have deforest this good. So let's just turn all these logs into wood that we can pick up. So, oh, what's that? It's a plant. Oh, a potato seed. You can farm in this game now. Anyway, one final stone. And I think we've got everything off this island except for this. So what are we going to learn here? The helm. And this is where the game gets truly, truly exciting. If you look at the description, a steering wheel used to pilot an island. Uh, yes, we can literally move entire islands. We can build sails and all sorts. I'm um, also worth noting as well, because we killed those architects, they gave us fungi fiber, which as you see there is a resource used to craft rope. That will be very, very important. All right. Well, anyway, let's head back to our original island because uh, we don't we don't just want to fly to other islands. We want to we want to take our entire base there. So we're back here. Let's turn that fungi fiber into rope. And then where do we start? What about rope, plank, and plank. Yeah, I'm also wondering, I've got the sickle. I'm just wondering if there's anything else I can chop. Yes, we've got wheat. We have wheat. Oh, and I can also collect clean water with my... Well, it's not clean. It's actually dirty water. But I can get that with my bucket. All right, and then if I actually want to do farming, I need the door kit because that can be used as a hoe or a spear. Oh, I can turn grass into soil. Oh, I can full on deforest like the land. Not just deforest. I can remove all plant life. This is awesome. <laughs> right, so now I've learned how to build these things. I guess I guess I could just like shove it there. Yeah, so I think I use, I use the hoe to actually get dirt and then I put... Put the dirt into these so i can then i can then till the soil plant a probably potato seed then we're growing potatoes and i guess i just need to water them when they dry out Ooh, does that dry out straight away not sure anyway let's build the helm oh this island is too heavy to pile no so yeah sadly this island is huge it will not go anywhere i need to build more floaters to lift the island more rudders to rotate the island and more sails to propel it uh yeah so we need to unlock the floaters rudders and sails first yeah uh, which means we gotta do some more exploring so let's head up over this way and remember we're most looking for the rocks with like the bandanas the karate rocks i like to call them but i don't see anything on this place so i guess we go to the next one dive bomb boosh <laughs> hello mate do you like some sword oh look if i line that up if i line that up <laughs> We have another one. And this one has balls. Boosh, 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 boosh. All right, and then the architect scum have come out to defend it. Get back. We'll destroy the fruit. And yes, we have cleansed the island. Um, and obviously, we've, we've got a new thing to learn. A rudder. Nice. So I think we could attach that to an island, and that will allow us to... Deer, but I don't think we'll have any movement. I think we'll just be spinning on the spot. Uh, so we probably want to head off and try and find another one. Now, it might be that there's there's none of those rocks on like the normal islands. Oh, no, there is. There is. There's one right there. So what are we going to learn this time? Oh, a leaf windmill. Okay, so that gives us power. You know, like the things like the sawmill, I was doing that by hand. Uh, we can use that to do it automatically, which is very cool. Oh, look, look, we got corn. We've actually got corn. Right, so they are fully grown, which means, I assume... Can I eat? Yeah, I can eat. So there's my health. So as I eat them, I'm gaining health. Oh man, I'm, I'm full. I'm full. Oh, we gained quite a bit of health there. Decent. A bit worried it's it's getting dark. So let's make this snappy. I think we want to head over this way. The next architect infested island. So oh no, I went too far. <laughs> I completely missed it. All right, anyway, now we're on and we can take out the mushrooms. Oh no, we got different mushroom guys this time. They've got like weird hats. Oh, they're a lot stronger as well. They are a lot stronger. Oh man, they're so... Why are you so strong? Right, I, I killed one. I killed one. That's good. I was worried they were like invincible to my sword for a second. But uh, we'll take down the other shaft and the fruit and the mushrooms. Um, so you might have noticed, can you see in the distance over there, there's like flashing lights. You might be like, well, what are they, Matt? What are they? I can tell you each flashing light is a brand new island to explore. Anyway, my strong shape sense is tingling. I think I'm going to have to fight my way through all these mushrooms. Yes, here we go. I knew I'd find one. 
<laughs> all right and there we go we have cleansed the land uh, unfortunately it's like it's really really dark because it's nighttime i should probably build a bed so we're up and out of bed we got a brand new island to explore though there are still some mushroom men about so yeah how would you like sickle mate eat some sickle or a picky poop i can't remember what this was called i'll just call it a hoe boosh anyway the island is cleansed of architecture so let's head up to this and oh my goodness, how close is that? It's another infected one. Okay, we've got to head up there next. Let's learn something first. Yes, we've got a floater. We've got a floater. So now we're going to fly up. We'll use our boost to get up quicker. And yes, I see I see a relic of old engineering times. They're trying to use it against us. Anyway, this island is now cleansed. We can learn whatever we got to learn up here. Yes, we've got the sail. So we've got everything we need in order to fly about the place. And I'm going to tell you what, I actually quite like the look of this island up here. So if I just fly up, I might make this my new home. We've got quite a lot of resources I can pilfer. Do I want to get rid of everything on here? The thing is, I will need the space in order to turn this into a vessel. So yeah, let's do it. So with an axe in hand, we'll go from this to this. Doesn't that look better? It's so much lighter up here. We now have lots of space to turn this into a floating airship. So first off, we need the helm. So I'm going to shove this up there so i can see what i'm doing then we need rudders floaters and the sails which all need planks rope and the cloth now, which means i probably need to rebuild all this stuff so let's build a workbench i want a really precarious bed i think that will help me sleep at night anyway then we'll make some sharp stone a load of rope a load of cloth because then we can build a sawmill and if you remember before we built this a windmill which takes planks and cloth and the way you build this obviously it looks like the blades are going to hit the land but since forward is that way i probably want this to face that direction we can then hold and we can make this as tall as we want depending on how many planks we have so we'll do it pretty high up to there i think and then we can make the blades bigger and smaller as well so i reckon we'll go about that big that looks good to me and then we can link that over to here and once we're facing the right direction that will create us planks automatically let's build a rudder so we can steer this thing so now if i grab the helm i can now steer so let's rotate so that the wind is facing our windmill you can see top right that's where the wind's coming from so if we face this way you can see the windmill is now spinning which means it's giving power to the sawmill so if i shove all my wood in there that will create planks for me automatically decent and next up in order to move this thing we need sails and of the leaf tier sail they've got like different properties so this is low cost and has low durability the square sail has an excellent wind take but low flexibility and the gaff sale is pretty average and um, i think i'm gonna go with the square one but remembering i can make these bigger and smaller but they cost more resources let's head back to the workbench and let's make loads more cloth that's very satisfying and very fast whoa and we'll grab a load of planks from in there as well we'll go find our precariously placed bed because it's dark and i hate dark in video games all right now we wake up oh <laughs> Thankfully, there is an island underneath, so it doesn't look that bad. Although that's probably more dangerous than just nothing underneath. But yeah, let's get some square sails down. Um, now, I want to make the most out of these. So I probably want to shove this as close to the back as possible. So we'll do that. We'll make that as tall as we can. And then as wide and big as we can on the sail. And then finally, we need floater sails as well. That will allow us to go up and down. So we probably just want to hang these off the edge somewhere. So I'll put one out that side. And then one out the opposite side. And then if we go back to the helm, I think we now have full control. If you look in the bottom right, this sort of shows you how much control you have in each of the different things. So we can use space to go up. Do you see the sails on the side? They went in. So if I do control to go down, they go in. We're now falling. You can see our altitude there. Um, oh no, we're going to fall into the island beneath. We're going to fall into the island beneath. <laughs> So basically, the more sails you have, the quicker you can go forward and backwards. The more floaters you have, the quicker you can go up and down, etc. Um, so yeah, let's lower the sail and then let's get moving. We're traveling at... Ooh. 20 knots pretty quick to be fair for one sail and that's flying into the wind as well imagine if the wind was behind us look how fast we're going 69 knots nice all right anyway over that way was the starting place i think i feel like we don't actually need to 
We don't need to go back there. I feel like we've got everything we need. So uh, let's head over to that island. Oh man, I am seeing lots of trees over here because uh, we're going to need some more resources if you want to add more sails and things. So we'll get close. We'll slow her down. And then let's go pillage our new land like our British ancestors did before us. Oh look, I found, I found pumpkins. There's so much new stuff in this demo. It's awesome. Right up to here, we've got something new to learn. Oh, cooking plate. We can cook. Oh, and I'm a little fly around. I've just spotted something hidden under so we're we'll head up here. Boosh. We got something else to learn. A wooden door. Uh, not as exciting as I thought it would be, considering it was very well hidden. Anyway, I'm seeing behind this waterfall, there is a cave. Is there anything good down here? Oh, hang on, what are these? What are those black rocks? Let me get my pickaxe out. What are you? Are you a new resource? Oh, we got coal which means we got a campfire. So we'll mine all of this up. And then, oh, is that? I found another rock. So that's something else to learn, a compost bin. There's also so many trees I could chop down. Anyway, for now, back to our island. Let's see. Oh, yes, we got new things to craft. A bucket and coal. What does that make? Clean water. So I can eat the clean water. And basically, that gives me extra stamina. Um, oh, okay, so all of these things, they, they're sort of like stats perks. So pumpkin gives you max HP 15 for 12 minutes. Corn, 12 HP for eight minutes and potato 14 hp for 12 minutes so i think pumpkin's the best right so i probably want a campfire i'll we'll shove that Let's shove it on that tree stump why not <laughs> and then i can start the fire oh look at that fire and then if i build a cooking plate do i shove that yeah i shove that on here so that's got spots to cook stuff so then i can cook my potato i'm cooking three potatoes and holding f yeah. i think i overcooked them all right so now i'm cooking potato pumpkin and corn it sounds delicious Delicious. So I think we've just got to hold this, but don't go into the red. Whereas, yeah, if I leave it down there, it would have just cooked on its own. So this is just if you're impatient, you can, can cook it faster. That's good to note. Aha, look, we've created mixed veggies. Um, apparently, I can cook leaves as well. <laughs> what is that going to give us? I'm not a koala. A stale meal. <laughs> All right, so mixed veggies, max HP 24 for eight minutes useful. Burnt meal, max HP three for one minute. Not ideal. And stale, 12 for eight minutes. So basically, it's just a way of getting more stats out of your food. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I am on a quest to make this thing as fast as possible. So let's build another sail. I'm going to put this one behind that one, like there, I guess. I assume I can still get to my bed. I hope I can. We'll make more cloth again. How many leaves did I have on me? Where was I storing all of these? There we go. 630 leaves turn into 210 cloths. So let's build some sails. Now, the trouble is I am sort of limited by how much rope I have. So I can't go too mental with these. Yeah, so now we're out of rope. We got a lot of sails though. So let's see what our speed is now. I will just go try and get to my bed and have a little danger snooze, as I like to call it. Right, we are now well rested. So let's jump through the sails. <laughs> Hurdling to work. And uh, let's get to the helm and we're gonna go well where are we gonna go actually i feel like we've explored all of those islands oh hang on hang on we have not explored this island because look there's a bridge and you know what that means we need a bridge review an extremely natural looking bridge very low clearance underneath but the four pillars look extremely efficient and help guide you across the bridge so you know exactly where to walk unfortunately this bridge is mineable although it does also look like a good place to snooze. As this bridge is also a four-poster bed, I'm going to have to add a point. Therefore, I give this bridge a pickaxe swiping 7.2 out of 10 bridge review. Oh, it looks like I did that just in time because now there is no bridge. I destroyed the only bridge in the game. Oh my goodness. What have I become? There's no bridge. Right, hang on. I can fix this. I can actually fix this. Ah, oh, there we go. Much better. Not only have I added handrails, but uh, we've also improved the clearance underneath. Look, even I can fit under now. Uh, so let's do a bridge review. Amended score. Improved significantly by our resident engineer. It's more useful. It's safer. And dare I say it, it could be a bilf. I give this an amended score of 8.1 out of 10. Bridge review. Right now, anyway, before I got distracted by that, in here, look, we have something new to learn. Oh no, a product of architecture after all that. Oh, face sculpture. What is a face sculpture? I can pick up these. A face carved in a stone. It is mysteriously found in cave. I mean, not technically a cave. Anyway, I think we've explored everything in the nearby proximity. We got to head to the stars. So off we go. Right, so you can sort of see there's like two islands up ahead coming into view. 
Uh, however, I've just realized, do I really want to take on more mushroom architects until my base is stronger? I mean, what if they attack my island? It's, it's not looking very strong right now. I'll tell you what, let's turn this thing around and head back. We're going to do some reinforcement. So we're pulling up close to our first island. And we'll park it right here. Boosh. So we'll chop all the trees down. We'll mine all the rocks. We'll sickle all these grassy things. Then we'll head to all those other islands and do the same thing. Until finally it's time to turn this average island into something much better. Let's get building. So we'll use some of these stone foundations and walls. We'll make sure we have a floor by knocking all these in. We'll light a few torches torches and then i think we're done here <laughs> yep may have gone a little bit overboard but i wanted to make sure we've got the best defense available uh, so obviously we've, we've got a castle with turrets on top it's got it's got secure door so secure i don't even know how to open it oh i just walk into it um unfortunately i did hire an architect to do the interior um, so we might just have to ignore that. Thankfully, we can just crouch under here. So this is the interior. We've got some windows. We've got stairs leading up there. You can see fortified walls. Very, very important in a castle. So if we head up these stairs, you'll see this is the top of the wall. We can look over everything. We can probably pour some stuff down should any mushroom architects attack us via our drawbridge. Um, yeah, I literally, I, I, built, I built my own moat. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Now, we've also got loads and loads of sails down either side as well. I tell you what, let's go for a little fly. You can have a, a better look at the scale of this thing. Yeah, there is our lovely castle. You can still see the island underneath. <laughs> Looks like a bloody like spaceship or something from underneath. But it's not. It's just a moat. It's just a castle and a moat. Yeah, if we fly over the top, this is this is the helm. Uh, so yeah, we're literally steering this thing now. I tell you what, because it's nighttime, blooming sun setting. Let's have a little snooze. Right, and wake up looking at the lovely lovely storm over there uh we should probably spin around a little bit i think but yeah i think time to raise the sails <laughs> you can see bottom right the bar we've we've filled up the sail one um, and the weight of the island i think the more you build it doesn't actually affect the weight it's just the weight of like the rock so i could literally make this as big as i wanted and like it would be it'd be fine um still a few trees growing out the top as well for some reason and but right if you want to see more battling of architects you're going to have to wait for the next video because that is the end. Remember, if you want to check out the new demo, click the link in my description. And a massive thanks to the devs for sponsoring this video. But for now, peace, love, and flying fortress castles. Bye, guys!